The youngest are only four, but the pupils of Abberley Primary in Worcestershire are already fighting the diseases of old age. Movement and minimising sitting down is part of school life. And if it's their birthday, they're allowed to stand all day. Children compete to record steps on pedometers. They get up when they speak in class. It's been known for many years that activity improves the working of your brain. And uh, this programme is simply really is built on that. And uh, we've, we've definitely seen an improvement in the children's ability to focus. The organisation Active Movement works in schools using the character Sid who sits and Stan who stands to inspire pupils. A playground game in which children search for cards of Sid and Stan to complete a word puzzle has raised awareness of the dangers of sitting. And it sits. You used to see loads of people just sitting down but now you can barely see anybody. When you stand up, it can help your muscles to grow faster and stronger, so in life you can do more stuff. When you sit down, your bodies are all relaxed, whereas when you stand up, you have to have, you're basically holding your body and you have to have a good posture. The science is increasingly clear that movement, even just the act of standing up rather than sitting down, has a huge impact on health. Adults are proving hard to persuade to change the habit of a lifetime. That's why the effort is beginning in schools from the earliest childhood onwards. Stan says reach up high. The academic who devised the programme assesses progress at the old schoolhouse near Newmarket, the first nursery to adopt the programme. He says it's vital that children grow up knowing the dangers of a sedentary lifestyle. Uh, stand up straight. It appears that when you sit too long, there are changes within your body you're producing extra cytokines, which are inflammatory. These can damage arteries in your heart and in your brain, which can cause strokes and heart attacks. It also increases certain types of cancer, and also it increases diabetes, we know, and obesity. We've seen buttercups right. before. And these are the thistles that we don't touch. These children can expect to live longer than the elderly friends with whom they go on walks. But if they're to avoid decades lived in poor health, they must learn the art of movement as early as possible. Robert Pickett, BBC News, in Suffolk.